This is the Subtig electric rotary head. Its purpose is so you can automatically pan or tilt while filming. It's a nice little thing with good and bad points. If you use an iPhone, the holder only opens to three inches. It wouldn't hold my iPhone 11, but it does hold an iPhone 6. These two screws hold it to the unit as well as a tripod. It comes with a GoPro camera attachment, which is nice, and a cloth carrying bag. The instructions, they're not great. It's pretty simple to operate. To turn it on, hold the on off button in for three seconds. It defaults to 60 seconds and 360 degrees, which is one full rotation. The three little arrows mean it will spin continuously, 60 seconds for one full revolution. This is the battery indicator. I can also change the seconds to 100, 10, or 30. Or, for more time, change the minutes, 10, 30, 60, or 120 minutes. I'll go back to 10 seconds, press the button again to start. The red light comes on. It will rotate continuously at 10 seconds per revolution. Press the button again to stop it. If you press the mode button, it will go to one single arrow. That does 360 degrees once and stops. Press mode again, 270 degrees. Two little lines appear. That spins three quarters of the turn. Then stops, then goes back. Once more, change the mode, 90 degrees. It will do a quarter of a revolution in the 10 seconds or whatever the time that you have set. Stop for a couple of seconds, then start again over and over and over. 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 When it says 270, push the degree button again to 180 or 90. It will go back and forth to the set time. To power off, hold the button in again for three seconds. This is it with the iPhone 6 sitting on a tabletop. It easily screws to a tripod. A larger SLR camera can also fit on this just as well. I wanted to see how smooth it was since people had commented on it being kind of jittery. This scene is one frame every six seconds set to the slowest speed of 360 degrees in 120 minutes. The light flickering you see might be due to the day being off and on sun and clouds. You can see some jitter. Here is the same speed looking at a test scene. You can see jitter. This is the scene twice the speed. The jitter is less noticeable because it's faster. I decided to test it further with a small mirror. I taped it to the camera mount and set it in the sunlight to reflect the sun to the ceiling. It's clear to see that each tick is like an irregular clock. Overall, it's not perfect, but it's really nice for just $30. It's well worth it.